What's going on guys? I've got a 2006 Ford Mustang here and I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of the two fuses and one relay for the operation of the starter. So the first one we're gonna check out is gonna be down in here. And the cool thing about that fuse is whenever you turn the key to the start position, the ignition switch will pass power to this fuse. So this fuse is a great way to test and make sure the ignition switch is actually working. And that fuse is gonna be this 10 amp fuse I've got marked in orange right here. So you can see how the fuse has got a little like hole in it basically, for lack of a better word. There's a way you can probe that fuse with a voltmeter to see if it's getting power or not. So this fuse will be energized when you're starting the car. Now from this fuse, that power travels on to one of two places. If you've got a manual transmission Mustang like this one, that power will go to your clutch pedal position switch, which is a safety device that prevents you from starting the vehicle unless you're pushing in on the clutch pedal. If you've got an automatic, that power will go on through your neutral safety switch, which is a safety device that will prevent you from starting the car unless it's in park or neutral. So assuming that both of those are working, you will see the power coming through to this pin right there. So if you do not see power coming through this pin when you're turning the key to the start position, then you might have a bad connection somewhere or you might have an issue with, with that safety switch. Maybe the ignition switch is not good. Now, the power comes through here. This is a ground provided by the computer. So the computer provides a ground if it desires that the car start. And that power and the ground work together to energize this relay, which is the starter relay. When this relay is energized, it takes power from this 30 amp J case fuse, which is the fuse for the starter solenoid, uh, takes power, which comes out through this pin and it sends it into this pin. This is the pin that actually goes to the starter itself. And if you look at the wiring diagram, you'll see that is a yellow light blue wire. So this hooks up to the yellow light blue wire that goes to the actual starter. So you can try yourself applying power to this pin. Uh, just keep in mind, you're gonna wanna make sure the car's in neutral or it will start moving. Uh, as far as troubleshooting, uh, what I like to do before getting too deep in it, you can try tapping on this relay or you can swap it around. Um, if your horn works, you know your horn relay works. So this would be a good relay to swap in as a troubleshooting step. And uh, I'll go ahead and take this opportunity to point out to you the uh, clutch pedal position switch. Some people like to disable this switch so they can start the car without pushing in on the clutch. Here's the clutch pedal right here. And if you trace it up, there's the switch right there. So if you disconnect the switch, you can hook those two wires together and the car will start at any time even without pushing in on the clutch. So yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Please be sure to let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, if you have any advice about troubleshooting the starter on your Mustang. Thanks for watching.